Hi everybody. I want to show you another way to do analysis of various questions. Some of you have are using iPads and some of you are using Chromebooks and uh, you can't get the data analysis tool pack in that case. But there is something built into my math lab that will do this. So let me show you how this works. I'm in question number 30 right now and this is an ANOVA question so I'm just going to get my hypotheses. My null hypothesis is always that my three means are equal. My alternate is at least that one of the three means is different than the others. And now it's asking for my statistics. So I'm going to open up the data. And instead of opening it in Excel, I'm going to open it in StatCrunch. This is built into my math lab. So here's StatCrunch. There's the data. You can see it looks a lot like an Excel spreadsheet. And really quickly, I'm just going to run my ANOVA. So I'm going to come to the Stat menu up here. And you see ANOVA. And we want to do one-way ANOVA. We're not doing two-way ANOVA or repeated measures. The one-way. So I'm going to open that up. It looks a little different than what we've done before. but Notice up here it says compare selected columns. I'm just going to select all three of these columns. And if you see the little yellow box that opened up right below this, it says select more than one with a shift click or a control click. So if I do a shift click and click on the other two, now they're all over here. So I want to make sure that the columns I'm comparing are over here. And that's all I need to do. So now I just come down and I click on compute. And there's my ANOVA result. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to click on Options, Save. It'll give me this, and I just click on Save. And I'm going to have a brand new tab in my browser that has my statistics right here. All of my ANOVA, you know, just ex well, not exactly, but very close to what you see in, in Excel. There's your n. Here are the means of all three groups, the standard deviations and standard error of all three groups, and here is your ANOVA data. So I can come back to my question, and now I can answer the question. Here's my F stat. I don't think I can copy. Ooh, maybe I can't copy it. I've never tried that before. Oh, awesome. You can even copy and paste. And so I can get all of my results from, from um, StatCrunch right in my math lab. So I hope this is really helpful, and I'll see you in class this week.